possible locations for Apophis. And any one of these dots could be the actual asteroid. All of the numbers that we were seeing were well beyond what we had seen before, and the threat level as a result was elevated. The impact probability for a collision with the Earth in 2029 reached the 3% level, three chances out of 100 that it would hit. When we saw the impact probability rising, we put out calls for um, others to look on their, in their archives for images of this asteroid at previous dates. When we got additional observations from the optical telescopes and when we got additional radar data, the threat level went to zero in 2029 and only re left a slight possibility of an impact in 2036. There is a possibility that after it goes by the Earth, it may pass through a small doorway or keyhole, I call it, and be deflected by the Earth's gravity into an orbit that would be about seven-sixths of a year. The Earth would go around the Sun seven times, the asteroid would go around the Sun six times, and they would meet up at the same place at the same time on April 13th, 2036. It will be important to look at this asteroid in the year 2013. We hope to see it with radar, and then hopefully we will confirm that the asteroid will not pass through that keyhole. That should allow us enough time, if, it, if we uh, unfortunately see that it is going to the keyhole, perhaps to mount some sort of mission to the asteroid to deflect it. And all we have to do then is deflect it away from that keyhole. We don't let down our guard, uh, not even for a day. It's our job to monitor the inner solar system and make sure that none of these objects are getting dangerously close to the Earth. And I'm Bill Hupshire. Welcome to Focus on Marshall. On this episode, NASA's Discovery Program is 15 years and still going strong.